Now this is Paul League, which is right on the coast. It's very busy being Sunday. It's full of shoppers and trippers. And who can blame them? On a day like today, great place to wander around. That's going to be my way out of town, heading south and then hugging the coast. Well, I'm on my way to Barbatra where the tiny road crosses the sea, uh, which I believe is possible. Uh, and I've never been this close to a, a wind generator, wind turbine, so I just thought I'd stop and take a picture. I've just crossed over the Passage du Gua, uh, which is reputedly about um, seven or eight kilometres, and there's a, a high tide due in two hours something. I asked a, a Frenchman on the other side if it was okay to cross, and he went, oh, 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 hmm, on velo, uh, you know, maybe, but I, it was a complete doddle. And there are still people welking, cockling, or muscling, or whatever it is they do way out on the sands. Well, the, the, that far left turbine is the one I filmed a moment ago. How about that? Monday the 9th, 19th of May, and this is the sixth day of serious cycling. Here was my campsite last night. What do they say? Um, take only memories, leave only footprints. I don't, think, I don't actually think I've left any footprints either. Uh, trusty steed is waiting to get on its way. And what's the destination today? Um, tranche sur mer, 62 and a half miles. It's quite a ride yesterday. Um, through these forests and um, it's very up and down as you can see uh, which makes it a little bit tough anyway uh, onwards onwards I go I've stopped in Saint-Hilaire de Rietz uh, yeah stop for breakfast it's quarter to nine it's, there's a cold wind blowing in my teeth and it's going to slow me down, unfortunately. Still, there's some what looks like pleasant but very wiggly tracks all down the coast. This is Bretignol's Sur-Mer. the weather's changing, the clouds are building up. But what do we say? Press on, press on, and see what happens. And by the way, as everywhere else in France, this place is deserted, boarded up, waiting for that one month of August, I suspect, uh, it will come to light. This is um, Chateau Lon. Seems to take me ages to get here, but I'm making quite good progress. I've got a, a hands span to do by this evening, and I can do that in um, what is it, 5, 10, 15, 20, maybe 30 kilometers, 20 miles. So I was very demoralized this morning with the head wind, and I, that's what's forecast for the rest of the day and for the next few days. But, um, what the hell, I've made quite good progress in spite of that. The odd thing is I'm feeling slightly nauseous, as if I've got high blood sugar, but my blood sugar is about four point something. I can't really explain it. I haven't I had that today and yesterday. Maybe I'm drinking too much coffee, because I'm stopping for coffee every, um, every hour or, or two. Maybe that's a bad idea. Anyway, signing off for the moment, feeling a little bit better about the, uh, today's journey. This is Tuesday, 
and the forecast storm as of uh, quarter to eight in the morning is well it's torrential and the rain is driving across at I don't know 50 degrees to the horizontal right from the direction in which I need to be traveling I just think it's impossible I don't know what to do now I'm gonna have to think about it over a leisurely breakfast let's hope it's, hope it subsides a bit because uh, well I think this would just turn me into a drowned rat in short time Well, I just scraped copious amounts of mud off the wheels and I got onto a track somewhere uh, by La Faux-sur-Mer. Uh, I made a false turn. The signposts are really rubbish on this section of the route. Back to get on track now. This is the Canal de Marans a la Rochelle and I think I'm about 20 miles from Rochelle and so far after a, a stormy blasting rainy day uh, it's actually been fairly pleasant but very cloudy I've arrived at La Rochelle and although the, the weather warnings were dire I haven't had a drop of rain uh, since I left this morning late. Uh, that's curious. Why would they put a lighthouse there when you couldn't see it from out to sea and you've already got through the entrance to the harbour, through those wonderful bastilles or whatever they are. Uh, so why did they put it? Maybe it's a joke. Maybe it's the toy lighthouse. Maybe somebody wanted to live in a lighthouse and they just built it there. Anyway, this is absolutely gorgeous, glorious. Ah, I've been so lucky the Velo gods have smiled. Just look at all those moorings and wonder. Wow, how much, how much money is sitting idle? And there in the distance is my destination for today which is um, Chatelet-Lyon. Yes, in the distance, not very far, a couple of miles. And these strange things are apparently for um, catching shrimps. Mm. Wednesday morning, Chatelet-Lyon, and only Wednesday, Thursday, Friday to go and I'm, I've changed the route uh, to make the last three days somewhat easier because I had one, one day that, that I'd underestimated the distance of. It's uh, only 9.30 in the morning, had breakfast, it's tipping it down and I'm going to leave it a bit. But still, I've got my, got my gaiters on which will keep my feet dry. If it doesn't let up, I'll just carry on regardless. Huh. Pluie. Puh. Puh. Um, oh yes, yesterday I saw two hoopoes, beautiful birds uh, that I hadn't seen before. I hope they uh, make it to England. I prefer them to those parakeets. somewhere near the middle of Rochefort. It's uh, tipping down and thunder and lightning. Wow, look at it. Breathing off that. Well, I've reached a critical point on the Velodicee where I'm leaving it. It's going off there in a Westerly direction to um, 
St. Agnant and uh, I need to go in a more easterly direction now uh, or southeast anyway which I think is down there uh, and it stopped raining uh, half an hour ago well it was just awful um, I, my hands were so cold I couldn't clasp my fingers and I needed to do number twos at a, at a cafe and I had to use my Leatherman pliers uh, and it took me ages to thaw out so uh, I'm wearing my gloves now they've got wet but with any luck that's the last of the rain so well for today I hope <clears throat> let's see after a day of inexorable rain I've arrived at Sants, Sant and checked into the Hotel du Centre and I'm ex now exploring the back streets which are very interesting looking and there is a cathedral up ahead which I'm going to have a look in and this is sort of place with lots of interesting shops I know Jan would love to look around oh, well maybe we'll come back one day This is the, the remains of a, an old Roman amphitheatre, uh, which is of course shut to the public. Uh, why would you expect anything different really? And here's another view from higher up. Rather wonderful. Clearly a lot of stone has been robbed over the ages, to, no doubt to build houses and other things in the area but you can still see the layout of the amphitheatre Now this Roman edifice is surprising it all looks out of proportion to me the columns aren't long enough well, the artificial columns aren't long enough. The base is all wrong. The dental moulding at the top doesn't have a cornice resting on top of it. It looks like somebody's assembled it out of leftover Roman bits or salvaged Roman bits. Must look it up when I get home and um, perhaps add a, add a comment. Hotel du Centre. Just check out the um, check out the decor. Mm -hmm. What do you reckon? This is my room. Almost got lost there amongst the dazzling doors. How about that? It is now 12.30 Thursday the 22nd I'm, on a, I'm in the Intermarche car park uh, Not a very pleasant journey this morning um, I had a vague notion of getting all the way to Von Vantois today but actually it's a bit too far so I'm thinking instead of going to Chateauneuf-sur-Charente to go to barbezieux saint hilaire uh, and camp somewhere not far from there. Well, I'm nearing the end of my final full day cycling. I'm at Barbezia Saint Hilaire. This centre of the village or town is on the top of a hill which is so steep I had to push my bike up. Uh, I'm going to go and find somewhere to camp. Uh, yeah, so going to be signing out. The headwind has been chronic but still last day tomorrow <music> The 
This is uh, Patrick and Bert Bertrand uh, who very, very kindly brought me to this wonderful place so I don't have to camp outside in the rain. Uh, and it's, it's brilliant. So uh, for 20 euros and then 10 for dinner, it couldn't be better. It's perfect. So what is your name again? What's your name? What's your name? No. Oui, no. Isabel. 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 Oui. I'm Paul. 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 So this is Isabel's mill for grinding, I'm not sure what, wheat, corn, for pain, um, flour, I don't know the words, but it's beautiful. This is Isabel. I don't know from where. Well, I can't believe such a stroke of luck. Uh, these, I had to wait ages for Patrick to drink four beers and then give me a lift in his transit van to this splendid place. Well, it seems I slept as near as damage on the Greenwich Meridian last night at the, this old mill that I fortuitously found and taken to. And now I'm on the last leg of this Belle Odyssey. And here's the Dordogne countryside. A little pause about a mile away from Joss and Rogers and the end of my journey and this river Lison. I have been here before but never seeing the river quite like this. Anyway it just shows how much rain I've, that there's been recently. Well I've arrived and it's uh, it's just after midday on Friday. Uh, how do I feel? Well, it's such great, great, and worthwhile. So, um, everybody, press that link to the to the charity uh, for a really good cause. Okay. Au revoir. Spot sitting at the forefront of my bike Doesn't need to sniff at lampposts or cock a leg at every signpost There's no journey that he doesn't like Mascot Spot, Mascot Spot Sitting at the forefront of my bike Flaps his ears when winds are blowing Happy even if it's snowing Seems to me we are quite alike you can buy fluffy toys, some look silly, some have poise, only if you really travel well. Rushing downhill at speeds that frighten, sometimes makes our buttocks tighten, spot sits fast while I ring my bell. Mascot spot, mascot spot, sitting at the forefront of my bike. Flaps his ears when winds are blowing, happy even if it's snowing, seems to me we are quite alike. I must be extremely lucky with my mascot getting mucky, sitting upright on my handlebars. Over rocks and mud or gravel, we both share a joy in travel, spot would gladly cycle to the stars. Mascot spot, mascot spot. Sitting at the forefront of my bike Flaps his ears when winds are blowing Happy even if it's snowing Seems to me we are quite alike <laughs>